Hello everyone, hope you enjoyed my last video when we were making free mode closing. So we were working with pets, now we're back to mapping. Today we're gonna cover entity sets, I'm gonna try to do it quick. Uh, firstly I'm gonna cover what the hell is entity sets and why are they so amazing and what they allow us to do in mapping. And the second part of the video would be how to transfer certain props from one Y type into the entity sets of the same Y type, which is which may not make sense for you right now, but when I will show you exact example of when it's needed and tell you the technique of how to do it the fastest way possible that I discovered recently, uh, I assume you would understand the beauty of it and the use of it. All right, so let's dive right into Code Walker. So of course you can get the latest version of Code Walker in Code Walker's Discord under releases uh, section. Current is dev44. Um, for the purpose of this video, it doesn't matter this much, but my suggestion is always having the latest code locker version. So, what the hell is entity sets? So, entity sets is basically just uh, a huge chunk or big amount of props uh, that are basically part of one set that you can uh, enable or disable just by pressing one button. So, let me show you how that looks. If you open our project window, uh, here's my, it's Franklin's house, Franklin's MLO, and this is its default state, but what we can actually do is, is uh, and I'm not gonna explain Coldwalker basics, obviously, this video is not about Coldwalker basics, I'm gonna leave a link to Toby's tutorial about Coldwalker basics, if you need one. Uh, this is tutorial covers exactly just entity sets and just that, so entity sets are located within Y type, so we're inside Franklin's house, and if we go into our MLO, where we have our rooms and portals, we will also have entity sets. And what do they actually do? They are presented as numbers, those are hashes. Uh, I will tell you how are they generated a bit later. But uh, what do they actually do? Alright, let's just force them visible in the editor and let's see how our interior visibly changes. Alright, we have a few bottles spawned here and some other props there. So already our room changed a bit. What about the other set? All right, this adds a bit more difference here. So we can go on and on adding variety of stuff. And the beauty of it is that uh, you can actually change the whole look of the interior for the player. Like not in just one room, but right here and there and on the kitchen even just by pressing one button. So you can even spawn one interior, let's say model, in 20 places and it would all be one interior which is extremely optimized and just make uh, one set per interior. Uh, and you can toggle them on and off in game as well which is extremely comfortable. You can even make the player to to toggle them on and off. So once we figure out what the hell entity sets is, let's uh, figure out how do we set them up for our interior. We're going to use a liquid library interior as uh, an example of how to work with entity sets because recently when I was working on here I discovered a way to do uh, work with entity sets in the most efficient way and that's when I uh, thought of that I should create uh, a tutorial on entity sets actually and this interior is created by one and only Dark Overseer. Uh, I think you can buy it at NoPixel's official store, it's part of Mar Mirror Park Hub subscription. I, it's not commercial for me. I don't gain anything from it. I just, in case you guys want to know, I guess I'll, I guess I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, Centuria is indeed good. Trust me on that one. Uh, uh, but that's not the point here. The point here is how do we go about working with any sets here? There are actually a few entity sets that we set up already. So, for example, bar stools. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite minor, but you can make them appear here. Which is also quite nice, right? It's tools don't have to always be there, right? So you can make them appear and disappear and it's not a big deal, but it changes the, the way it looks, right? But it's minor change. How do we go uh, about something big and how do we actually enable our sets? So in order to create a set, all you have to do is go to your Y type, MLO, new entity set. Let's call it, let's say Christmas props and here you just click add entity so it ends the first entity into your set it's invisible because it's not toggled on yet we can 
After selecting our engine set, we can press force visible in editor and now it's toggled on. This is the same way how we toggle on and off all the engine sets within our code walker. Uh, how do we enable them in game? All right, so th there is uh, this way I know. So uh, you save your white type after you created your set file, save your white type as, just, I just do it like that. Uh, not save all, but I save it file by file. Uh, like this, my YMAP and my Y type separately. I, I'm gonna use OpenIV, it's just visually more pleasant to me, there's nothing personal about it. A Coldwalker RPF Explorer, for example, has more functionality within it, so be sure to check the Z of one out as well. So, how do entity sets actually look, look in your Y type? So, if you open up your Y type and type entity sets, we're gonna navigate he, uh, here, which is the start of our sets. And this is the end of our set. And this one, the last one here, with prop alien exit we have just created, is our set. So it starts here, and it ends here. All right, it's quite easy actually. This is our set. This is location. So this is important to understand. Location means in which room it is located. Currently it's zero, which is incorrect. Codewalker doesn't automatically uh, attach it to any rooms, I mean it does to room 0, but you auto have to change it manually, so if you want it to be in room 1, you press it in room 1, otherwise it's not optimized and HD sets will be loaded all the time in wherever room you are, which is extremely unoptimized, so you actually have to, uh, every time in under locations, change in which room your prop is located in. And this data entity set from entity dev from item to item is the info about our prop. So if we go and select our egg, we have our rotation, position, archetype, LOD, so everything that we see here. So it's completely the same. Uh, there's nothing to be confused about here, guys. It's absolutely understandable. Now, why the hell am I showing you that? Because it is important to understand how exactly that works. So under name here, we see some weird hash, but how did that happen? If we open our code walker, we named it Christmas Props. So what's the difference here? Uh, there's nothing to be confused about. If we copy this name and go to Jenkin, we paste it here, and what do we see here? The third array of hash is just encrypted, basically just encrypted value of this, but basically it's the same. And this is the name we have, and if we go here, it's exactly what we have here. So this is how this hash within the white type is generated. Uh, but why the hell do we need that hash? Uh, the reason for that is this, is that, um, let us save this. Uh, if you go to Y type uh, and stream files like this, it's not gonna be visible in game. Yes, the set itself is located within the Y type, but if you want to enable our set in game, so toggling on and off, the place to go is Y map. So we open up our Y map, we have just copied the name of our uh, set in hash and it's for a reason. So right here we have default entity sets and now how do you actually enable the set? So you go enter item control V then closing item like this then you do the same with sets you delete this one copy this Paste that here and leave this mark here. Alright, nothing to be confused about, super easy. And if you were to add multiple sets, for example, Christmas Prop Seps 02, what you do is just enter, paste, and it just changes the hash inside. Now we have two sets toggled on. So now I hit Ctrl S, and if it allows you to save, then you did everything correctly. Alright, guys? You didn't make any mistake in the code, so there's nothing to be confused about, you just starting item, closing item, within the default entity sets, and if you were to disable all the sets within the interior, what you do is just disable all the items inside, delete this, and you just make it closing default entity sets, like so, Control S, and it's done. So it's as simple as that. This is how you enable and disable the sets within the interior, you go to YMAP for that. This is all it is to it on how to create and enable your entity sets in-game. That's actually all there is to it. 
but uh, this is, was the first part of the video. The second part of the video of how to make something more complex. For example, we already have props within our interior. So in Liquid Library, there, is, there are Christmas props. You see those lights here, this Christmas hat. If we go into this room, we have those socks and uh, Christmas tree. Uh, what if you wanted to make this whole thing into another set? So we don't want to recreate and respawn all the props with each room. Each year there is Christmas and spawn it all from the beginning, right? It's a lot of work. So it, would, it wouldn't be so much cooler and easier if all Christmas props would be just one set that you could toggle on and off every December. That would be amazing. But how do we do that? Do we actually have to save its position, save its rotation values, delete it, make another set, paste it there, copy the coordinates again? Nope. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you a quick, nice and cool way. And you, trust me, you already know all there is to it. I'm just gonna, gonna show you how to navigate within the files and or how to go about it. And you will realize how cool it is and easy it is. And let's dive into it. So once we figured out our, our task of making all the Christmas props here uh, into uh, entity set, and we, I will also show you how to posi reposition them between the uh, rooms. So first things first, let, let's say uh, I, I'm going to start with that hat. So what do I do? Uh, I copy Christmas hat. I go to Y type. I search for it. But so entity, as I already told you, means one prop. So this is one prop. This is one prop, this is one prop from item to item, entity dev, meaning one entity. And as you see, oh damn, there's so many hats here. How do I navigate between, between which one is mine? Well, quite easy. We see the coordinates here, 422. And if I go at the position, what do I see here? 422. So this is the hat I need. I copy the values, uh, this, I, this uh, entity set, and not set, but entity dev, the whole prop info, I copy it here from item, starting item to closing item, I copy it like so. Then I open up a notepad and I go room one props. All right. Then I paste this. All right. Then I go okay, this is a prop that I found. It's going to be part of Christmas set. What about the other props here? Uh, let's disable GTA map, so we're gonna have the transition a bit quicker here. So I wanna select those lights here. It was dizzy, but I managed to grab the garland here. So obviously garland should be part of Christmas props as well. I copy the name again from here, I go to my white type, and I, by the way, I do not delete anything from here because if you just delete entity set here it's still attached to that room uh, later there there down as a number so if you delete it here your code your game will just crash so do exactly as i show you don't try to act smart trust me i tried another way the lead to crashes so what i'm going to be showing you is literally the fastest way to do it so now i search for garland and it's the only garland here within the whole white type so obviously it's the one i'm looking for i copy this and i paste it okay let's do uh uh one or two more props here so i'll see that it's right here i have my christmas lights so i guess if i those are located right here let's not worry about those this one yeah this one is what i'm looking for let's Aim for big props, so I take it as well. It's probably alone in, with, in this interior as well. Yeah, so I copy this data. I'm gonna show you where this all leads to. Uh, all right, so let's say we took three props from um, room one. What do we do now? We delete it from Codewalker, not from OpenIV, but from Codewalker, because Codewalker deletes all the metadata there is to it, and it will not lead to crash in game. So please, follow the steps delete the prop with code walker like so all right so now our y type is correct 
uh, we deleted the props from the rooms, from the room 1, from the Y type, original Y type, and we will later on add it into our entity set. But let's finish this room. Let's say for as for the clarity and good example, I'm gonna also show you from another room. So this room is, if I select our prop, it's gonna be room 5. What do I do now? I do exactly the same. I copy, for, for now I do exactly the same. I copy the name. I, uh, let's check the coordinates, 292. It is correct here for X. Um, so I copy this from item to item, my entity depth again. But what do I do now? I go with room five props. All right. So this is one prop. Let's do another one. For example, oh, uh, let me show you how to deal with socks quickly. So if I select a sock, I see that they go one by one right here, you see, in the same room. So how do I enable all the, all the socks here? I copy its name, I go to open IV, and I know that they go one by one. I don't have to check each time if those are correct. I just have to check the first coordinate here, so it's minus 0796, and this one is minus 275. So let's find either of those. So I see position minus 10, which is incorrect. Up, minus 275, which is this one. So from here, four socks are exactly what I'm looking for. So I take this item, one sock, two socks, three socks, four socks. I do not touch more. And I paste that here. All right, let's say we've done with that. Don't forget to delete the props. And delete the tree. Now, with our prop deleted, super important, you, with your props deleted, you save your white app here. Also, please make backups if you don't, if you want to kill the first try, in case you want to kill the first try. You save your white type. You close your code walker. We're not gonna need it anymore. The next step is combining it into new Y type. How do we do that? We delete the old version of our Y type, we paste the new one. And now we go down to our entity sets, to our latest one. We already know, remember the name and we know that the prop would be egg, right? But actually, we do not need our egg, right? So let us just delete it from item to item, leaving empty array here. So what do we do now? By the way, this zero answers for the egg. We don't have the egg, so don't forget about this number. We will replace it later on. So what do we do now? Let's start with room one props. How many props do we have? Let's say you lost count, right? So it's like one, two, three. How do you know for sure? So each software has control F, which is find. So what you do is your copy entity def to search how many entities there is, because remember, one entity equals one prop, and you just press count all right eight matches which means there are eight props in here why do i need that info because there is one two three three props within room one let's uh, delete the blank spots here three three props within room one which info so let us copy all of those three props christmas hat garland and christmas slides we copy them all up we go back here, and when it's empty, where there was egg from entities to closing entities, we, we hit Control V, paste. Now we have our three props enabled within the set, but why did I told you to count them? Because they are, we have to uh, tell the game in which rooms they are located in. So, one number equals one prop. So the amount of numbers is the amount of prop. Which number, so the indicator of the number, is which Na room it is attached to. So in our case, it's three numbers to room one. So we go one, one, one. As simple as that. So what do we do next? Uh, in room five, there is one, two, three, four, five props. So we can already go back to open IV and hit it like, like uh, room five, five props. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, in room five. All right, now we copy the data here. And we go back here 
uh, before our closing item of entities and after our closing item of item of entity we hit enter control v now we press save and if OpenIV let you save that then you did it correctly uh, now let's replace our old fire with new one open up code walker and i will show you how that looks all right, as we opened our code walker, we already see that the hat is gone from our main Y type. The garland is gone. The Christmas props are kind of gone here. Well, we only touched part of them, obviously. I don't want to removing, be removing all of them within one video. It's going to take a bit more time, but the technique is the same. You can do so with as many preps as you want. Just don't lose count on them. So how does it look now? If we go to here, here, back to our Y type, what do we see here? We called it our latest energy set Christmas props. What the hell are those numbers? Again, we go to Jeng hash, Jengen. It was Christmas props. And if in if Y type uses third array, Code Walker uses second array. Alright, so every you can understand everything if you just dive into it just a bit. Alright, so everything is understood, nothing is uh, too confusing, trust me. So you can comment yourself in, in the comments if this was hard to understand or actually it's extremely understandable if you start to think about it. So how does it look now? So we have three props within room one. And by the way, Code Walker allows you to automatically change the room like so, which is extremely comfortable. Thank you, DexEffects, for your amazing Code Walker software. Um, we don't see our props. What the hell is going on? Oh my God. Nope. Just enables them within the Code Walker. How cool is that? All controlled with one single button. Christmas interior. All other 11 months of the year interior. And we can also go here. And those props are part of the set as well. How cool is that? And let me show you one more time how to enable that in game uh, on practice. So I say my Y type. Uh, I say my Y map. It's gonna be super quick, don't worry about that. Uh, so, I open up my Y map, or I can just take the name from Cold Walker because we know that this hash is what I should use. You can search it like so. You open up your Y map, you go to your entity sets, op, item, don't be scared of manual work, it's a chore like any other. No hard at all. Just a few buttons to press. Alright. Now I stream my updated Y type back onto the server. I do the same with my y, y map with this enabled. Now let's go into the game and see how that looks. So now as we are within our interior with an amazing mini map created for it, uh, we see that uh, Christmas props are enabled within here. And if we go up with another minimap level toggles, um, uh, within this room we also see all the props here. Now, what do we do next? Let me open the same Y map and just delete this and press this here. Save. So I disable the set and I stream my Y map back to Y map file and I just replace it and let's reconnect to the server and seize it they're gone um no, never mind never mind um yes yeah, so uh, now when we're working walking here these christmas props are gone if we were to put this into the same set of room one they would have been gone as well uh so let's check out this here and these are gone as well if you were to put this slide as room five, as number five, it would have been gone as well. So as simple as that, we can control the amount of props and we can transfer props from one room to the whole set. Look at library is amazing. It's time for final info of the video. Please guys, make sure to comment to say if this was understandable and no hard at all. Uh, please follow me on Twitch where I do all of my dev work. I was actually transferring all the Christmas props live right on this stream 
um, uh, making sure it all works uh, like that. And I do a lot of my dev work on stream, link in the description. Also, we have our store. Uh, please check this one out. We have beautiful pets here, Adon pets, Cyberpunk, cre Awful Creatures of the Night. We have free mod closing as well, and more will be coming. Weapons will be coming soon. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Uh, a lot more tutorials to come. Please share your opinion and your results, and uh, see you next time. Take care.